Hi Nick and Travis. This is a quick tutorial on how to create a essentially a new page for your comic. There is a way to create new chapters uh, or side chapters as I see that you have later on uh, that can be their own menu. I can teach you that uh, at any point so that you can break them up in kind of chapters in that way. Um, but for now I'm going to show you how to publish a comic uh, up on that new system. Here we go. So log into your dashboard. Uh, from here click on comics. And so far I've started naming them this way. You can name them any other way you'd like. This is just kind of for me to be able to keep track. Um, I started doing it this way but I saw how many there were and I figure I can make you a tutorial and you guys can uh, finish up the the job here so it's gonna take a while um, it took a while to try to get this all worked out with this comic book system but now that it's up and running it looks pretty cool uh, so once we're here we want to create um, a new one so it's easy to hit clone clone so we'll click there this is a, a clone for page or number six so we'll turn this into number seven uh, the comic is set here set comic featured image on this top right where you can see the small thumbnail of it so what we'll do is we'll click on that and this is all the files you have already uploaded so I like to go by the date which these are still in uh, the first month I believe uh, so you can go to the site and then see which one it is next, but it's right there. Page 7, right? Yeah, number 7, so set featured image. There it is. Now we need to just change the, uh, the header. Uh, it's, it's important to have this break right here for visual, um, but the title of this one is Dark as Night. And uh, it's not sensitive to case. And then the hover text, which is There we go. So that's the hover, that's the title, that's the image itself, and then uh, we want it in this chapter, Doom Dojo. So here's where we can create other chapters. You simply would uh, click new chapter here for um, one of your next series and uh, Let's see if I can forward to one of them on the current um, site so I can make that mm -hmm. a chapter and that would be a good example of it. Uh, so holiday spirit, right? New chapter. And your parent chapter can still be Doom Dojo. And that new chapter. So that could be once you get to um, uploading those in that series, you would upload them into that one. But right now, the next one, right, is not that. It's just Doom Dojo. So we'll not do that. But it'll be there for the future. We have our title our overlay. Number seven, we can change that title if you'd like uh, to, I guess it would be Dark as Night. Um, and then we click Publish. So now we can go to our website. And here it is with the new uh, gallery setting. Uh, 
let's reload it and the home page will display the most current comic so we just updated it and this should be the new comic that we put up there once the internet goes ha and we're back online so here's the new comic that we just updated um, right here so again to do that quickly we would um, go to comics all comics we can simply clone it change it to the next name change the image change the title and then change the text that floats above And we would make sure it's Doom Dojo. Publish. And we would reload the home page. And there it is. Now it looks like this image is smaller than the last one and you might find that an inconsistency. Um, if so, I suggest as you're maybe even starting from the beginning and uh, making sure they're all the same resolution as far as like how big they are because that one's pretty small compared to these last ones and I'm sure you know how to get them all in the same resolution um, using Photoshop so yes that would pretty much get you to be able to upload all the comics up there um, and then we'll even be able to do uh, chapters later on once you get them fully up there I can help you turn on that setting for the menu because you can have a menu a piece up here that says chapters um, other than that it's good to go, you guys. Um, keep up the good work, and we'll be in touch soon. Let me know if you need any other tutorial in time to uh, do this. Um, I would say get all those comics up there. I'm going to keep the old site, um, the old gallery up there for now, but you can right now log on and get all those done, <clears throat> all those chapters up there, or all the different um, comics up there to be... Uh, up to date to the um, to the one that you have currently up there, uh, which will be the one that's live until you finish it. This one here, and once you finish um, getting all the comics up here in this new gallery setting, uh, shoot me an email um, and I'll activate this different uh, system so that this pops up but for now I'll, I'll leave the one that was up there until you guys get that done um, actually I, I can show you what you would need to do we'll do it right now once we're in our dashboard we can click appearance themes 
appearance themes in our dashboard uh, and we can select this active child theme right now we're gonna go back to the original or the last gallery that we have which will activate Divi and this is going to be deactivated when you're ready to turn on that gallery you'll just come to appearance themes go to the child theme of Divi click activate and that'll turn it on but for now we're going to go back to the old way the last gallery so again we're going to go back to this home page Here's the old gal gallery looking correct. And the new comic gallery is not even showing up. So this will be up here until you get that done. When you're ready, again, you'll come to your dashboard after you log in. It'll be here. You go appearance, themes and then click activate on the child theme and we'll just kind of go through it real quick once you activate that we go back to our home page right now the new gallery will show up the comics but this will still be here in order to then get rid of this you will edit this page and simply once it loads this blue you can right click on the blue and click disable on all platforms and click update And now if we reload our home page, we'll just have this gallery and the other gallery is gone. And that's how you will finish up the process of just having this new comic gallery. Everything else is exactly the same. Even better. My internet's not very fast right now. There's a Facebook blog and the newsletter, which is the other link. Oh yeah, and I actually gave this this kind of formatting as well. But for now, we'll go back to Oh yeah, I have it in two. Careful not doing that. We'll go back to the Divi. We'll activate it. And since we need this gallery, we'll enable it. And from this, we'll go back to the older gallery. With this tutorial, you should be able to update your um, website and be able to turn it over to the next gallery after you are uploaded all your comics onto the new system. So you would, want to, you would want to put all those up there because you already have the images, so you just got to fill in all those forms and do one at a time. And then change that setting, this theme setting, and then that will turn it over to that new gallery. Awesome, you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know.